Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke. Today we're going to discuss rest periods for lactic anaerobic intervals. So we've established previously that intervals is just a really vague term. Um, the principle of lactic anaerobic intervals, if you remember that system, right, it's, it's that buffer system. If the aerobic system can't keep up, then the lactic anaerobic stuff is going to try to help us keep our performance up. Um, the characterizing uh, feature of these intervals is that there is incomplete rest. Fatigue starts to accumulate. Okay, so if I think about that now, I can think about intensity kind of like just staying high for the most part. Um, and I can think about not resting maybe more than a minute. Um, first, let's discuss let's discuss 30 30 again so in my aerobic video that we did previously we aerobic rest period video we talked about 30 30. now 30 30 can be super anaerobic super lactic anaerobic if somebody is really motivated if they're trying really hard and if you choose the right exercises right if it's like a walking lunge the the muscle isn't going to get that fatigued um, unless you're really moving through or you've got a really heavy weight but if it's like repeated jumps, then yeah, you're going to fatigue like freaking crazy because you're demanding that the feet leave the ground and you need a certain amount of force to do that. So you need to maintain some level of effort. 30-30 is really good for group workouts because if somebody's feeling like crap, they can still they can kind of dial it back and still do this interval. And there's not a bunch of attention that's drawn to them unless somebody says you're really dogging it over there. Um, but if somebody's feeling really good and they like to, you know, destroy themselves in the gym, then 3030 works really well for them too, because they leave feeling really fatigued after. Let's think about another one. So how about one minute on, one minute off? This one's really good for like repeated approaching threshold training. Uh, if I if I push really hard and I do a couple rounds, then the only like level of intensity that I can maintain is right up right about at that anaerobic threshold. If I go much higher then I can't repeat it for the next round. Um, so you have to you know, you have to understand pacing and you have to understand what your body is capable of if you're going to do this kind of interval. What's another one, famous one, the Tabata interval, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Now we talked about in the aerobic video, if you, if you don't really try that hard, this isn't necessarily that challenging, but if you are busting your butt like they did in the original study where they evaluated this cycling demonic interval on a, on a bike, um, people get really, really tired. So if you really push yourself for 20 seconds and then you rest for 10 as hard as you can, um, if you, you can only really go for four minutes. And that was kind of how the original uh, uh, cycle was done. Uh, let's think about another one. You could do one minute on, three minutes off. So that's another like threshold kind of thing. You could do three minutes on, three minutes off again. And it's the same idea as a one minute on, one minute off. You can only maintain uh, this anaerobic threshold about level because if I go too much further than that, then I'm going to gas out or I'm not going to be able to recover. I don't think we need any more examples. I think that's the, the whole thing. Just remember the key characteristic of lactic anaerobic interval training is incomplete recovery.